This is the best airline ad I've seen in quite some times. It, some time. it comes from Aero Mexico. Uh, it is the it is a Mexican airline, and they have a problem. And their problem is they don't have enough Americans flying to Mexico, or so they set up in this ad. Um, and so they're out to get more Americans to visit Mexico. But first, they want to see you know what the Americans think of Mexico, so they go to essentially what would be considered a flyover state to interview some. Here's the beginning of that ad. Mexico's first destination is America. But America's first destination is not Mexico. So we went to a typical American town to ask why they don't consider Mexico an option to travel to. Would you consider going to Mexico? No way. The idea of going to Mexico is not something that I would foresee. That's not my cup of tea. Let me stay here in peace and let those folks stay on their side of the border. Do you like tequila? Yes. Do you like burritos? Yeah. Do you like Mexico? No. Okay. <laughs> so good. That's how people it's feel about so Mexico. Good. What are our feelings about those people just from watching that part of <laughs> those the- people aren't leaving that little community that they're in? I mean, that, was, that was hilarious. I mean, those people, right? Those people don't have passports. Those people don't. They're not going anywhere. They're not going to the, the you know the next state over where Bubba lives. Exactly. They haven't, they haven't left in a twenty mile radius of where they were born, let alone another country. Jeez. Uh, so because of that very situation, uh, Aero Mexico wanted to uh, find a way to incentivize them to visit America. So what? They they did is they gave DNA tests to those individuals because by their calculations, a lot of Americans in Texas, which this was filmed in, don't know how much Mexican blood they actually have. So they gave them DNA tests and offered them discounts based on what percentage of their DNA was of Mexican descent. So how much, if you're 17% Mexican, you get a 17% discount. Here's how that played out. The more Mexican they are, the more discount they get. Joshua, you are 18% Mexican. Oh, wow. So you get 18% off to fly to Mexico. <laughs> Charlotte, you are 14.4% Mexican. You're 22% Mexican. That's That is You are 18% Mexican. Well, that's better than you. <laughs> So you get 22% off to fly to Mexico. Oh, come on, I don't, seriously? Okay, that's for real, so what if I wanna take my wife? Sorry, Betsy, you're only 3% Mexican. Inner discounts, there are no borders within us. Yeah, I'd go to Mexico if they had Taco Bells on the street corners down there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, so Too good. good. This is so good. good. This is so genius. Genius Aero Mexico. Because, you know, there's this whole group of people that are like, the only thing I love more than my racism is discounts. <laughs> <laughs> it is so immediate. <laughs> Give me that coupon. I'm going to Mexico right now. Because you don't even. What? You don't even see them calculate like, yeah. oh, ooh, this is a this is a tough one. It is very clear at the beginning. I don't want to go there, period. And then it is very clear, 17% off. <laughs> oh, man, book my etiqueta. I love that one guy that was like, yeah, I love burritos. Mexico, nah, but I'm better than you. I got 18%. Yes. What? <laughs> Dude. Uh, can I take my wife? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That guy, that guy did not like it. Like he was so mad. So mad. I love that internal yeah, struggle. That, that, right, right. Then he flipped so fast. It's crazy. So mad. But then he was like, I want to take my wife though. <laughs> you know what I can I just say? This is a genius ad campaign, but it's enraging to me because I have been to Mexico. Mexico is beautiful. And the best thing about Mexico is that those people are not there. Right. <laughs> so if you bring all those people to Mexico, I don't want to go to Mexico anymore. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, don't worry, they're not going. <laughs> uh, no, but they've cocooned themselves. They're they're not leaving that cocoon. But <sighs> you're right. Mexico is a country with so many terrific people, and right, the the texture of Mexico is almost defined by all those great people who live there. And it, it's not it, and, and you really don't find the prejudice like that, that it comes the other way. Uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, it's but like the the Americans I've seen when I've been to Mexico, it's on a spring break trip. 
<laughs> and you're right. Like when they are there, it is it's, it is it's, loud and it is it's bad. intolerable. Right. Right. It is yeah. yeah. So well, uh, when we're on mass, the American experience, you know, can be a little much and in your face. Yeah, yeah. anywhere. We don't work to like. To get into the pueblo that we're and we happen to be in, and like just work into the culture, the the authenticity of the of the destination isn't something that's a priority. Oftentimes for those bus tours, you know. I would pay money to see that one guy get off of the plane in Mexico and be like, "Where the hell is the Taco Bell?" <laughs> I just <laughs> he's going to be so mad. That's what I want. So like, mad. While you have those people, you just want to say, "Could you describe what you think Mexico is like? <laughs> Can you give us that?" Because to him, it is. It must be Taco Bell. It's like a bunch of Taco Bells and a bunch of like rapists and murderers. Yeah, it's. I love that. If it's like, <laughs> there's so much money tied up in this wall thing. There's five billion dollars, ten billion dollars, and that's the money they're fighting for. Maybe if we just offered everyone who's for the wall like fourteen percent off of something <laughs> to get them to change their mind. Of this, Taco Bell. This is. It is proven in this non-scientific, but it does feel scientific to me. This is the way to get two people to get them to change their minds. I'm with you. If we give them fifteen percent off of an actual authentic Mexican restaurant that is not Taco Bell <laughs> and have them try some actual delicious legit tamale they'll be like all right yeah i see it <laughs> <laughs> i don't think you're going to flip them in their hearts but you could you know flip them obviously the economic incentive does work so. but like at the heart of it that is how people grow out of their own prejudices is actually to go face what they're like making up stories about, right? Because everyone's in their own bubble. You hear that so much. And this is the actual solution. It's maybe not going to Mexico. Especially Mexico. Because if you've been to Mexico, Mexicans are the nicest people. Yeah. They're so warm. They're so friendly. The food is amazing. The beaches are gorgeous. Like, yeah, Mexico is like one of those places that would be like, all right, this isn't so bad. Yeah, but even if it was in America, just sit these people down with some actual Mexican people and just talk. And that's it. And I think that's what Aero Mexico should do. In the future, is I want to see a multi-part series with all of these people as they slowly change and grow. The video got 306 million uh, thousand views, 306 thousand views, very quickly, so it was trending. Um, and uh, the only comparable thing that I can see to this, I was like, what other airlines offer like discounts? It's not airlines, but like in Israel, they do birthright, right. which is like oh. not if you're, it's not if you're like 17 percent, you get 17 percent off. It's like if you're one percent Jewish, you get 100 percent off your ticket. Mm. I'm down. Yep. I, that's that's my one complaint is I'm probably not any percent Mexican, <laughs> and I but I want to I want the discount. Yeah, you just go to Mexico. <laughs> I'm sure you could go on Orbitz and get a discount too. On the go? Don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com/podcast.